The Back Widow by Flex Wheeler is the latest, greatest cable attachment. It's quite possibly the most expensive cable attachment on the market, but it does a lot of things besides a cable attachment. In fact, they say it's basically like 13 or so different attachments in one. Today we're gonna to review it. I'm gonna tell you how I like it, and let's see if it's worth your hard-earned dollars. Let's do it. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and today we're taking a look at this bad boy. This is Flex Wheeler's Back Widow, as everybody has to have. You have to have it stored somewhere. I've got mine on a hitch pin. Now, this is by Flex Wheeler. If you don't know who Flex Wheeler is, Flex Wheeler is probably the best bodybuilder who never won an Olympia. He's won Arnold Classic. Um, but, you know, I think they have all sorts of different, you know, names for his physique, but the dude was massive. Okay, I don't know how much he took in the creation of this, but I do know that it's got his name on it. And this is, like I said in the intro, probably the most expensive cable attachment out there. So if you're somebody where it's just like, you don't like watching videos if you don't know the price, well, this is about $300. So if that puts you over the edge, you know, sorry, but it's expensive. Now, when I first saw the price and I saw it online, I was like, holy crap, that is a lot of money for a cable attachment. But once you get it in hand, it's like you start to realize why it's so expensive. It's very heavy. Lynn, can you hold this? Here, just I'll just put it on there. How heavy is that, Lynn? It's very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. Okay, thank you. Very heavy. Almost too heavy. He had to have a strap so he could hold it. Okay, but the reason it's so heavy, and I didn't realize this. Some of you guys may be in the same realm that I was. I thought it was plastic because if you look at all the photos online, the way they like take them and like they gloss it up, it looks plastic, but just so you know, this thing is fully metal construction. In fact, one of the suggested improvements that we said in a video or in an article was they should make it one out of like HTPE plastic, high density propylene elastomer or something like that. It's a plastic that's like high density um, and I think it would make it cheaper. But the reason it's expensive is because it does a lot and because it's super heavy, okay? But really the unique part of this is the fact that it goes from like this small compact packed form, although heavy, into like a myriad of other attachments. So the idea is rather than having like, I don't know, 10 or however many attachments you'd wanna use for a cable machine, we're gonna use it on the coop squat. But instead of having all of those different attachments, you have it in one beautiful little package, okay? So this is kind of how it works. It's got these two knobs up top, two knobs down bottom. It's got handles all over. It's got a hole right here for a landmine. It's got a, like, I don't know, lip right here for deadlifting or for a, a, like a deadlift jack. I'll show you how that works. But basically, if you want to start using it, you pull this, it locks in just like any other pop pin, pulls out the handle. You can do the other one as well. Once you have it out, then you can start adjusting them so for different widths. So you can go all the way out wide. If you're gonna do like a wider lat pull down and you can shape these in. So there's all these, there's three different holes for angles. So if you take three by three, that's nine. And then there's other, you know, ways you can use it as well. So you're looking at about, you know, 12, 13 different functions, okay? But I'll just, actually, before I show you anything, I do wanna talk about some of the details. First off is close in here. This is knurled, so it's got a fine knurl on it. Um, I'm actually really glad they went with a knurl here. I didn't know if I saw it on the first version, uh, but it, you know, it's a nice knurling. And then on the outside, this square bar, they actually etched it too to add in a little bit of a knurl mark there too. So it adds just enough grip. I like the round tubing the best, but the outside does add just enough grip, so it's nice to pull down as well. So other than that, it's got good welds all over. I don't know if this is made in the USA or not. Uh, that's something I'll have to check on. But um, they've got a carabiner on top. On the back, you can see it, and then you're good to go. So it's a sweet looking attachment, um, but I'll show you kind of how it works. So we'll attach it up top here. And let's say that you just want to use it for like tricep press down or something like that. So that's definitely something you can do. So you pull this out. So it's angled there angled there, and now you have basically a V-bar where you could do tricep pushdowns. Now, if you wanna do other functionality with it, I mean, you could put it on the, uh, the bottom if you wanna do curls. 
Uh, so you just turn it upside down, just like you would use with a V-bar, or you could put these out wider if you want to do curls, things like that. But now I'll show you how you could use it as a lat pull-down attachment. This is the widest setting that they have. This is one of the things, and I may mention this a little bit more a little bit later on, but this is one of the things that I dislike about this, and it's a trade-off, so you have to decide how big we're going to make it. It's going to add more cost if you add more material. Um, it's not as compact, but I like using a wider lat pull-down, especially for a straight bar. So I kind of wish they would have like extended this longer, things like that, because it's not as long as this typical lat bar. Okay, so if you wanted to use it for a lat pull-down, that's a very close grip. So really that leaves you with kind of one option, which is out here. But if you decided you wanted a little bit different angle, you can also angle these up like that and like that. And that gives you a little bit different angle and feels a little bit different on the hands. Okay, and then if you wanted to go a little bit closer or something like that, you can turn this in and then you're a little bit closer. Or you can adjust it here uh, to go a little bit farther out like that. So then you can use it like this. So there's all these, basically the idea is there's all of these different angles that you could use in one compact unit, okay? If the question you have to decide is, is it really worth it to spend all that for one piece that has all those versus just buying individual ones? And I'll give my recommendation on that in a moment, but so there's lat pull downs. In addition to that, you could use it for, you know, low rows, any cable attachment that you'd want. But I think one of the things that's unique about it is using it in a different manner. So it's not just a cable attachment. They thought about how you could use this differently and one of them is as a landmine. Let's show you. Okay, so this center hole right here is the diameter, probably close to two inches of a barbell sleeve. That's so you can fit it over the top. Cue sexual music. Then you can put weight on top of it. And now you have a landmine. Okay, so if you want to use this for rows, like so. If you want to adjust it differently, I mean, you could use it for one arm rows. Like so. And then you can adjust it further. So if you wanted to use it straight out, you can do it like that and do rows like this. So the options are much more than you would find with any standard, you know, cable attachment. And that's because no cable attachments are made to do things like that, okay? So then there's one other thing that you can do with it. Deadlift jacks typically, one, take up a lot of space. They can also be expensive unless you do a DIY. So oftentimes they take up both sides, unless it's like the Genesis jack or a mini deadlift jack. So this allows the barbell shaft to hook into here, like so, just like any other jack. You can put your foot on this or hand or whatever, lift it up and it's solid. So that allows you then to take some more plates, you know, some pizza pies. And put them on. And then when you're ready to lift, just go forward, take this out. So the question is, Coop, do you think you know, at $300, $299, I think there are some coupon codes out there, so you may be able to get a little bit less if I find one or we have one. I'll put in a link in the bio for you. But for $300, do I suggest it? Well, here's some things I like first off. Um, I do like that it's made of metal. I like how heavy duty it is. I mean, it's gonna last forever. There's really nothing really to break on it except for maybe these pop pins, but even then they're super strong. You could always easily get replacements. It's got a lot of functionality in a super compact form, so it takes up very little space. 
I actually, this is pretty much the only cable attachment I use besides a long lap bar now because it can do so much and I just have to keep one on there. There are some things that I think could be improved. One of them is right here. So this bar, it's not really big enough to fit a full hand in. Um, and I don't even have super big hands, but you know, I, my hands are big enough. You can ask my wife about that one. But uh, I do wish it was a little bit wider, as, as wide as it was there, because that's a missed opportunity, because you basically have this dead space that can't be used, where it could have been used for lap pull downs um, in other places. So that is one thing I would like. It also doesn't have any UHMW plastic here, so you're wearing down your barbell knurling. You can actually see there a barbell pattern from it being used for a deadlift jack. Okay, and it's very expensive. But I do like how compact it is. I like how much form function. So honestly, in my opinion, for most people, it's overkill. I think it's too expensive. I think it's overbuilt. Like for guys that like a lot of like versatility and don't mind spending some money, I definitely recommend it. But if you're thinking about, okay, I could get a lap bar, I get a short bar, I get a V bar, I get a tricep rope. Um, I could get a deadlift jack. You could probably get all of those things for similar price as this. And I know most home gym owners are not minimalists. You like having a ton of different crap. So you like being able to hang on your wall and have all of it. So I think for most people, that's probably a better option. However, if you do like the versatility in a compact form, plan to use it. I mean, it's an awesome piece of equipment. I love the versatility. I love the idea. It's just very expensive. So maybe they'll drop it down someday. But this has been Coop from GarageGymReviews.com. Have you used one of these? A back widow? Would you spend $2.99 on this? Let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Peace.